Good morning. Good morning. Day 61. Zero day here in Tehachapi. We are just going down for the continental breakfast. Well, we're heading to Walmart now to do our resupply. Oh, it is a great day. The weather is like 22 degrees, overcast, windy. But of course we're in town today instead of hiking, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I had to make some healthy choices today. I got some Moringa powder and some multi-seed crisps, all GMO free, pistachios, cacao nibs, Parmesan cheese crisps. I'm still not giving up the dairy yet. Some onions. Sunflower seeds, some seasonings, ginger, sesame, and some blackened chicken, some sweet potato mash, uh, bacon bits, more Parmesan cheese, some RX bars, some ratio keto bars, uh, Vagicil is not to eat, it's for the chafe, it works well, some cream, coffee, a whole bunch of tuna and salmon some split peas i'm going to try to cold soak those uh quinoa tricolor quinoa some brown minute rice uh, what do i got here's a little bit of sugar unfortunately it's not really sugar it's sucralose but it's still sugar same reaction in the body but i need my electrolytes and i'm not willing to uh, do the coconut water quite yet i'm not a fan of coconut water more tuna yeah, so see what happens with this. Well, we had uh, quite a nice buffet at the Vince, Chinese wall. Are you taking a video? At the Great Wall, I should say. What are you doing? I am. Oh! So here is everything that I have got. Thanks, Vanna. Um, for the next 17 days of the trail, I'm going to take it all and divide it into three different sections, I think, or at least two sections. Um, no, this is three. <laughs> well, it is three, but we're going to take what I need for the next six days and take everything and ship it ahead. When we get to Ridgecrest, then we will take what we need and ship it out again to Kennedy Meadows. What do you think? I think that's a lot of food. That's well a lot. done. So on this side, I have all my breakfasts, oatmeal, some cinnamon, cherries, banana chips, moringa, as I said in my previous video, um, a whole bunch of complete cookies. whole case of them, in fact, because I thought I ordered four, but they're apparently four gram cookies, not, uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> ah, yes. And then I don't know what I'm going to eat for lunch, but I'll probably have a mixture of extra fruit and bars and seeds and some nuts. And with my suppers, I'll probably have an assortment of jalapenos and onions and bacon bits mixed with either rice or sweet potatoes. Lots of veggies, broccoli, carrots, spinach, cauliflower, zucchini. I also have some quinoa. Yeah, I should be set. So here is my repackaging for six days I have three packs of instant oatmeal with some cinnamon in each one of these and some PB2 my coffee uh, some energy drinks some moringa some complete cookies this is gonna be my snacks for lunch I'll have cheese and crackers tuna or salmon some nuts, seeds, <laughs> and here they are eating their crappy Taco Bell, all of them. Not it. Yeah. So for supper, I got brown rice and mixed veggies. I got broccoli, cauliflower, and all the veggies that I was telling you in there. I got four of those and then two sweet potatoes mixed with jalapeno peppers, onions, 
and Parmesan cheese. And then for dessert, a little bit of banana chips, cherries, and apple slices. And then a taco <laughs> appeared. What the hell? That is not part of my resupply. Believe it or not, it actually all fits into my food bag. It only weighs about yeah, maybe 15 pounds for six days. I'm pretty impressed with that. I actually got my food bag to close. Good morning. We have decided that we are gonna stay another day, rest up a little bit more, because we always seem to get into town and actually run all these little errands and never actually have a rest day. So we're gonna rest and then we're gonna head to the post office here in a bit and then do some resting and then rest some more. Well, we're just at the post office sending out some packages ahead to Ridgecrest. Captain is overseeing Sassy package up everything. Great job, Thank you. Thank you so much. Den got new booties. So fast. Yes. And I got turmeric. I don't know who's more excited, Jen or me. I'm not sure if you noticed. Captain did something to his face. Oblivious just gave us a ride back to town from the post office. Now we are heading to Kelsey's to see what we can do for lunch. Well, we're back at the hotel now. That was a really good lunch. Had a vegan wrap. Um, Jen had some BLT that she always seems to have. Oh, it was a clubhouse. My bad. She had a clubhouse and she seems to always get these clubhouses and they're always really good it seems. And yeah, they have amazing um, vegetarian options there. There's salads and wraps and things like that. So lots of soups too. I like soups. Um, if you're in town in Tehachapi and you're looking for uh, some really good lunch, go to Kelsey's. K E L C Y S. Yeah, it's got an old school vibe. Totally like a 50s or 60s uh, diner. Very cool. The service in there is top notch. And now it's snooze time. <laughs> well, I had about a four hour snooze after we got back from Kelsey's. I don't know if it necessarily revived my body too much, but. I'm sure it couldn't have hurt. Sitting down and having a salad of collard greens and avocado and cucumber, a little bit of cheese and some Italian dressing. Bought these collard greens yesterday at the uh, grocery store, but when I stuck them in the fridge, they ended up freezing. So now I'm eating frozen collard greens. <laughs> I'm frozen. <laughs> it's kind of cold in here, but it's going to get hot tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, and That's the next day. We so we we get really cold, and then we'll thaw out over the next few days. Well, it's eight o'clock. We are just uh, lounging around. Doug ended up having to go back to Walmart because he forgot a screen protector for his phone. Look at those booties! Wow, those are fancy. Where did where, where, you find those? <laughs> nice booties. In the you almost look like a Smurf, but different. Can you see them? Oh, you found them. I found the Hikerbox. Hiker box. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Captain's booties. I've been walking around with them since I got back and you didn't notice. Well, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, still joking around, even though we're winding down. <laughs> uh, looks like we're gonna get picked up at six o'clock in the morning and head back out on the trail so that means that we have to set the alarm for like four o'clock so we can get up and get packed up and have coffee and all that stuff so yeah um the next stretch is gonna be hot and dry i'm not necessarily looking forward to it just the way we like it yeah um sure <laughs> <laughs> good night guys talk to you tomorrow